So right now, I would say the hype is what they call real. What I'm referring to is No Man's Sky. This game looks to be everything Destiny was, and not saying Destiny was a bad game, but from what I saw of the trailers in Destiny, it looked like it was open. You do what you want to do, when you want to do it, and it's just going to be a fun time. What Destiny turned out to be was a contained, non-open experience. And the Crucible is fun, but sometimes it could get very repetitive. And No Man's Sky looks to be everything Destiny was not. I recently just got the new Game Informer for No Man's Sky. I read through the entire thing, and I was blown away. It, it was amazing. I saw the E3 demo, and I was like, this game is pretty cool. I um, read the Game Informer. I've never been this excited for... Well, I mean, I've been excited for Destiny, but I, I'm happy and excited. They said, the developers said that they're taking inspiration from Halo, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and Star Wars. What could be better than any of those three things? Literally, when you boot up the game, it, um, they took inspiration from 2001 A Space Odyssey, and it's like that in, at the end of 2001 when there's like that cosmic kind of like thing going on at the end. They took inspiration from that, and that's what happens when you boot up the game. I'm excited. You st so what, well, let me explain what happens. So you, sp you start out on a random world. You spawn on some random world that somebody could have discovered or somebody could have not even touched. And all the worlds are randomly generated and there's millions of worlds. It's not even like, I'm not hyperboling you. It, it's not, it, the thing is they're all randomly generated. So they have the um, capabilities to make millions of worlds. You start off on a world that nobody's discovered. It can be inhospitable or it could be thriving with life. You can then gather materials to get units, which are the currency, or you can take off in your spaceship and fly anywhere. You have a thing called a star map where you can hyperdrive around the galaxy. The galaxy! The bad thing is though, you have to buy a hyperdrive, which sucks. The good thing is though, when you do get that hyperdrive, um, the thing, like what, it, they said that it would be hard to meet up with friends, but what I would think I would do is I would get a hyperdrive and I would find out where my friend like planet is and then I would hyperdrive over to their planet. That's what I would do. They said it's going to be kind of hard to do the thing with friends because they don't want you cheating to get to the black hole. So the whole black hole thing is that um, it's pretty much the object of the game. There's a black hole in the center of the galaxy. When you spawn on the pla on your first planet, it's millions of miles away from this black hole and you basically need to fly there the developers have not said a word of what's in this black hole but that is the objective i do not know if the game ends and but the, there was a quote from the game informer the game informer's upstairs in my room right now so i don't want to go get it but it said when you hit the black hole it's not the end it's actually the beginning so when you're flying to the black hole there's so many things you can do you can um kill your friends in their ships. You can kill the police. These, like, galact galactic police. You can, um, get ship upgrades. Get upgrades for yourself. Get upgrades for your gun. Go to a planet and kill every dinosaur. Or ride the dinosaurs. Tame the dinosaurs. Explore the planet. Call it your own. I don't know if there's a thing to, like, where you can claim a planet and, like, place upgrades on it and, like, do stuff like that, but I would so do that. And I'm, I'm a happy. I'm a happy little camper right now. Because if I get to go through a ra it's it's Minecraft. It's Minecraft, and but with ships, and you actually get to fly. It's like, Minecraft like is an infinite world, right? Not, not all the, of course all the worlds aren't infinite because they're all spheres, but it's basically a limited Minecraft world, but you can go off the world and go to millions of other worlds. You can see a galaxy when you're flying to a galaxy, or not a galaxy, a solar system. You can check the solar system to see if, it, if the planets on it have materials and stuff or not. You can see if the solar system has been discovered. You can see if a planet's been discovered. It, it's insane. The coolest part so far, they just released a trailer on December 6th. I just saw it because I was doing research on it. It is probably the coolest trailer I've ever seen. The trailer starts off with a guy, and he's in a ship flies to another planet, then he goes to this thing called, um, 
I forgot what they're called, like their docking bays or something like that, or upgrade stations, space stations, I think. You can go to them and get upgrades, and you can even blow them up if you want. And I also learned that you can get the galaxy police on you, and if you kill them, you can get units, and the units are the currency. But anyway, so this guy goes to the space station, takes off, and then he goes to his star map. And you see this galaxy that he's in, and he kind of, like, so you see the planet on the star map, then he zooms out to the galaxy, or not the galaxy, he's in the solar system he's in. And then he zooms out, and he keeps zooming out, and it's, like, going super fast. Super, super, super fast. Like, it's flying through all these different solar systems you can go to. Thousands. There's at least a thousand, you see at least a thousand solar systems fly by in this, like, little demo. You then see him fly by a couple more solar systems, and then he finally sees one solar system, and it says, um... Uh, hyperdrive, and then you can hyperdrive to it if you do have your hyperdrive, and I would assume that it's going to take you a lot of time and grinding to get you your hyperdrive, but who cares, when you get the hyperdrive, you're going to be the coolest little guy ever, because you, you see him fly through the galaxy or whatever, like do his hyperdrive thing, and he lands, and then it says, solar system discovered by, um, whatever the guy's name was. He then goes to the planet, lands, and then there's like these bronchiosaurus things with long legs, and he discovers the species, and he gets units for it, and it is amazing. I get to discover planets. I, I, oh, I want to discover planets. So much more to talk about. Um, there's alien thing, like alien portal things, alien architecture that you can go through and it like kind of teleports you to a random part in the galaxy, I think closer to the black hole. The thing about the black hole is, in the Game Informer, it said it can take you up to 40 to 100 hours IRL to get you to this black hole. I'm putting time into this game. So let me tell you about the things I'm afraid of. It, well, first of all, it's an indie game. Indie games are ambitious, like Minecraft was. But when people when people saw Minecraft, they're like, "How do you rent? How does this happen? How do you have an infinite world?" And people are afraid. I'm afraid of No Man's Sky because how is an indie game gonna do this where they can randomly generate a galaxy? But another like an upside to that is that it's a Sony exclusive, and, and it's for PC too. But no Microsoft this time, guys. Sorry, but it's a Sony and PS PC exclusive. So that means Sony's basically going like this. Take my money. Take all my money. We're gonna make this game really good. Sony's definitely funding the crap out of this game. Which is a good thing, because we want this game to be top-notch. Now, of course, the graphics aren't pristine because it's an indie game, but who cares? Millions of people log on to Minecraft and League of Legends every day, and those graphics are... What do you guys think about No Man's Sky? I'll link a couple interviews. There's a half-hour interview I think I saw with the founder of Hello Games, which is the uh, people who are creating this amazing, ambitious game. And then there's also a new trailer, and I can also link an uh, uh, older trailer too. But they haven't released too much info. Unless you pick up the new Game Informer, you are going to get... get no Man's Sky, like, you're gonna soak all up all that information. There's like five pages of stuff, and it's all new stuff. And I'm ready to have fun with this game. Comes out next year, um, it said... I, I don't know what it said on the Game Informer, it just said 2015, which, um... Come out next month? It could come out in January. Come out in August? It could come out next December. I don't know. But it's coming out, and I'm happy... And I'm a little scared, because it's an indie game, it's not a AAA title. If this is a AAA title, I'll be like, you guys got it. But this is an indie game, so I'm a little afraid. But at the same time, I'm a happy little camper. Looks like Minecraft and Star Wars. And the free... Uh, Skyrim? The, the free room aspect of Skyrim. Minecraft, the infinite world aspect of Minecraft. And then Star Wars, just the concept of Star Wars. had a baby. And they said, we're gonna call this guy No Man's Sky. So what do you guys think about No Man's Sky? I'll link some of the stuff down below. You guys can get your spiel on it. I highly recommend reading that five-page article. It's not a waste of time. It's all new info. I love you guys. I just went 44-6 and six today in an Advanced Warfare game. Expect to see that soon. Goodbye.